drinking a bowl of her discharge, of course, that's going to give you some health problems. Remember? You drank her discharge. How do you even... Are we live, Matt? Live. Welcome to episode number 17 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. God, it takes a long time to say. What's a faster way to say it? Full act? Mf. Actual? Welcome to mf. 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 Marty and Michael Full mf. Act. What about mf. the- Mf. Mf. Mart and Mick Full Act. <laughs> Mart and Mick's Full Act. Or mf. Mf. M and M S three E P one seven. So anyway, sorry. Um, sorry. what did we fucking on the weekend? Right, what happened? Oh, dude, Sunday was fucking rad. I was so sore Sunday night. We what did, did we do? three sets oh, of taco. Oh yeah, taco man. We tokered it up. Uh, uh, last week we last Friday we went to Jackson's to say goodbye to him. Played a bit of taco. Holy shit. Tokers has like become our life. That's three, day, three days. Three days. Three days in a week we played it. Michael's just practicing so that he becomes better than James, but it'll never happen. No, last time we played a singles, it was three all. Thank you. James is a superior athlete. You need to- I'll beat him. James, I know you're listening. You wait. I'm going to fucking kick your ass next time. Not kick your ass. We'll probably be about 6'4". You I'll lost predict. three sets on Sunday, didn't you? Yeah, but I had, I had fucking, I had Maitland and Julian. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but like, if you, okay, James is up there, Matt is up there. If you get Matt, if I had had Matt, we would have won. But since James had Matt, we fucking lost. And I'm probably not the best team member. I do abuse a bit. Sorry, Maitland and Julian. I'm not so sorry. But <laughs> like, they deserve it. You got a bit cranky at Julian. Well, if your team member's shit, if they don't know their shit, they're not going to get better. <laughs> so they need to know their shit. And some of the shit people do, fucking, it just deserves give, abuse. What, give us an example. Like just stupid little taps or like uh, easy sitters and they fucking miss them. Or like, okay, here's an example. Some people... Don't use their knees or any part of their upper body. They let the ball drop too low and then they hit it in the net many times. That happens because they're not comfortable with their knees, shoulders, and heads. And I'm fucking comfortable. I'm all rounder. I'm fucking great. I'm fucking good at the game. You know I am. Yeah, you're right. I'm fucking... James, we're playing a singles before Toka tomorrow night. I'm going to win 6-4, I predict it. Anyway, um, what else has happened? Yeah, Jackson's gone. We've been filming. We've been filming some cheeky pranks. I actually, uh, well, attempted a prank to- today oh, on my fucking dickhead. While he went to the shops, I was like, because, you know, we, need- we haven't filmed a prank for ages. And I was like, just on the fly, I was like, fuck, Julian, just film this. And I went and pulled a knife out of the fucking drawer. And I went to where I knew he would be parked at Champside and um, slashed his tires. Such a good prank, man. Just destroying people's property. <laughs> and well, at least I can still... I'll be able to drive to the coast after this. So, we got it fixed. I just fucking slashed his tires as a prank. I don't know. Just go and have a watch. It'll be out now. Uh, extended version, obviously, on the website. Which reminds me, this podcast is brought to you... Matt? Julian Woods. He's, he's on the podcast. All right, everyone. Oh, just, uh, everyone, we have we have Julian Tennyson Woods uh, live on the podcast right now. If uh, you'd be uh, able to see me if was on, if you're watching on YouTube, you see the little screen, his little he, fucking what's he Woods want? face. What's he want? I Go. just wanted to ask uh, Michael where my hundred dollars was. You owe me a hundred bucks from the another fucking thing he shit at. I beat him in pool and he owes me a hundred bucks. You owe me a hundred dollars. <laughs> no, you owe me a hundred dollars. Why? You're trying to confuse me? It's not going to work. Yeah, look, hang up. He's gone. No, that Fuck was, you. That was a weak attempt to trying to confuse you. Yeah. Well, it, it nearly worked. Yeah, I was like inside. Yeah, I was you sweating. Were, like, you, I was you were very nervous. nervous. We are proudly sold out by Manscaped. <laughs> if you want your male grooming products, right, go to manscaped.com. They got really good shit. They got ball shavers like you've never seen before. They got these, they got, they've even got a cologne now that actually smells quite nice. There's just heaps of shit there. If you want to go, if you need some male grooming stuff, use our discount code fully. Actually, you get 20% off everything. 
All right, so just 20, have 20% off there if you need to buy some male grooming shit. Just go and have a look. Manscaped.com. We actually do use their products now. And Michael is shaving his tongue after using that same shaver to shave his balls and gooch every other week. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ah. See how he's, he's shaving his tongue doesn't and he, doesn't, doesn't even nick tongue. Away. Doesn't even nick my tongue. Yeah, doesn't nick his tongue. Yeah, so it's it. very, very high quality. Look at that. Got the shaver directly, and it's all around us. So don't get upset that I've used this on my balls and now my mouth. I'm not, I'm not upset at all. It's completely fine, mate. Thank you. It's disgusting. Mm. And of course, this podcast is supported and by yeah. our subscription website, University of Markle, where we post weekly vlogs. They're fucking incredible. We went through a psychic last week. That's on there. We're playing Extreme Catch. We'll oh. be out on this next episode. That's out. Came out yesterday for you watching right now. Where we what? Yeah, yeah. We'll do it later. Yeah. Just remember Extreme Catch. Where we throw. We're gonna throw fucking really hot water at each other, and we have to catch it. We are gonna throw balls with thumbtacks. We might even throw some shit. <laughs> Extreme catch. And um, yeah, we just post weekly shit there. So if you want to support us, support the podcast, sign up. It's like 10 bucks a month. And yeah, there's like 180 30 minute videos on there. So you can fucking, you get to and know yeah, us pretty you get well. One, a new one each week. Yeah, a new one each good. week. And if you want to just see what it's all about, you can sign up free for 21 days. If you don't like it, you can just fucking leave. And they can, they always say, hey, stop saying this. Stop telling people that yeah, they can leave, I, I but, but that's like the that. truth, okay? Like the 21 day tr trial is so you guys can look and see if you like it. Oh, dude, I've been it ringworming. I, I pretty much just like, my friends now are my fans. I go on the Discord every night and I just fucking make sounds to them. I get stoned. I m make them watch me play FIFA. You fart. Yeah, I haven't. By the way, FIFA? another fucking good thing I'm good at. Another Fuck thing off, I'm good I at. I challenge you. Julian I'm is close. shit. He has not won one. Julian is just shit all round. I've decided. <laughs> all right, Julian. I'm not sorry anymore. Anyway, <laughs> he yeah. Ten. We played ten matches of FIFA, and he's lost everything. So what fuck. team did you play with? I don't know. I just choose the ones with good stats. I think it's Man City. Yuck, you disgust me. Oh, who cares? You. Teams and fuck you. off. Who cares? It's a game. You play the game. Oh, I'm going to make money out of you. you. Fuck off. You'll beat me, but you've played before. Julian is shit. I'm not on Xbox. I'm a little bit not yeah, good oh, on yeah. Xbox. That's so it'll be even. It's the same. PlayStation, Xbox, same buttons. Don't, sort of. Yeah. Sort anyway, of. Discord's yeah, great. I'm the, enjoying the Discord with the, my fans. Slash, now they're my friends. And the Discord is something you get when when you sign up if you if you become a premium member. So it's a little bit more, but we I, I got to get on the Discord more. I'm never on we'll that. Night time's like fucking family yeah. time. Well, I'm, yeah, obviously I haven't got a family, so I can do that. But we can, we'll just we've got to organize a time during the maybe day. every morning at six a.m. What about whenever we're driving in the car? Ah, uh -huh. that's what happens now. Uh -huh. we, okay, new rule: whenever we're driving from A to B. We, we go, go on live on the Discord. Yeah, that's a good fucking... That's fair. Do you know about the Discord, Actually, Matt? Someone yeah. asked last night. It was Greg Shelton. He wants you in on the Discord. So, we've got to get, get you the link. Oh, Greg. We've got, we got to get him to pay first. Mm. I think you get special treatment. Actually, you haven't signed up the website. Fuck off. <laughs> You're not even Fuck, off. <laughs> Fuck off, Matthew Brown. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, so I discovered through um, uh, through deep meditation comments that Julian Woods is also not a member, and he's using the excuse that he's the editor. Yeah, but he makes the videos, so he, he already knows us on there. You know what I mean, Colin? He's like a character. He's like the end of Marty and Michael. In fact, have you guys signed up to your own website? Yes. Mm. Yep. I just wanted to make number higher, make me happy. Yeah, me put number number my subscriber on saying. Oh. Yeah, I got nothing then. <laughs> well, you do have something, Matthew Brown. You have a very, very telling diary entry. Oh, have I got one this week? Yeah, we all do. Is Julian in there? Yeah, Julian. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Someone did comment. Um. Matthew's Little Brown versus Julian's Little Wood <laughs> in the diary entries. That gave me a good laugh. That's naughty. <laughs> fuck joke. It's a fuck joke. Mm. Diary entry number 130. Uh, sorry. Diary entry number 112 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. 
Today I pulled a sheet of skin off my leg after I got sunburnt last week. It's the biggest one I've ever pulled off and I can't wait to show my mum's fact. Diary entry number 137 from Marty. Today was my birthday. No one remembered. After I stopped crying, I went for a walk around our backyard for a while. It was a pretty good day. Wait, wait, Diary. You really young then? Oh, I must have been 14. I fucking remembered every birthday. 14? You were, I didn't even know you then, man. Oh, so, yeah. So, how's that, how's that the case? Now? Henry how wasn't there for you then? Man. Yeah, how old were you then? I didn't even know when my birthday was. Did you write that entry in German? No. It's, it's, it's numbers. Oh, coding. Number 1,421 from Matthew Gregory Brown. The lipstick slid across my lips with ease, leaving an even layer of bright red. I I smiled at myself in the mirror and continued eating my raw steak. I always found that the female staff bathroom at my work was a place where I could fully be myself. I began my usual routine and started searching through the bins. Nothing but old tissues and makeup removal wipes. Then, a very subtle, slight, high-pitched sound started in my ear, and I dug deeper into the bin. The sound gets louder and louder as I get deeper, until finally I find one of the most valuable items that I collect. A used tampon. I hold it out in front of my face and marvel at it. The blood around it was dried, but I estimate it's been in there for three hours and fourteen, no, fifteen minutes. Since I can, rem- since I can remember, I've always been able to hear periods, and that skill has served me well today. I can smell the girl who this belonged to as a twenty-six-year-old who has had a recent abortion. I give in to my urges and pop the tampon into my mouth and start furiously sucking. I hold onto the string as bits come off the tampon, and I eagerly swallow them as my eyes roll into the back of my head as the pleasure circuits in my brain start to swell. To receive maximum flavor, I begin chewing on the tampon and the inner juices burst out. A tang coats my mouth and I'm in literal heaven. I drop to my knees and tears of joy squirt from my eyeballs. I'm snapped back to reality when I hear the cubicle door behind me open. I slowly turn to see a shocked co-worker staring at me on my knees, sucking a tampon with lipstick all over my mouth and a half-eaten raw steak on the sink. How had I missed this? I thought for sure I was alone in the bathroom. I quickly swallow the tampon and slurp the tampon string like a cooked spaghetti. We maintain eye contact in silence. I can see her brain trying to make sense of what she's seeing. I place my pointer finger to my red lips. Shh. The girl nods and slowly re-enters her cubicle and I hear her door locking. I I take the opportunity and clean my mess and leave the bathroom. I hand in my letter of resignation shortly after and take the bus home. Once a time I sexually please myself and scream into my pillow for a few hours and then lie in bed wondering what human flesh tastes like. What an exciting day. Oh, 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 fuck. You lost your job over that one. Oh, well, at least you Just quit. to eat a tampon? Man. Do you like collect them or something? That's, you can't tell people this. That's fucking gross, man. Like how many do you have in a box or something? Don't talk oh. to blah, 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 blah. It's probably- <laughs> Oh, imagine chewing it. And then it sucked up all the juices. Uh, it'd be like a crispy outer and then liquidy. Oh, it just reminds me of Taylor. How he used to love shit. He used to love growling out when oh. they were on their rack. What? And like, there were blood clot chunks. He used to say, boom, 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 boom. Oh. Chew them. No. What? Yes, that's real. What? Fucking some cunt we met in Europe loved going down on girls when they were blood. And then he fucking loved the little blood clot things that... I don't know. What blood clot things? There's fucking hardened blood things in there. And he said he'd chew them. Hey, hey James, how are you? Shit, are you guys in the middle of a podcast? <laughs> 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 I've fucking done it again. <laughs> right, sorry, sorry everyone for interrupting. No sorry. worries, brother. I'll chat to you after. Okay. Anyway, that was real. Was a real thing. Yeah, that was a real story. I saw him, and I'm pretty sure. Oh fuck! You were there. We won't go into other you were stories there. about him. But yeah, fuck me, loose dude. Yeah, he was a loose cannon. That <sighs> guy. He was the one who uh, first got us into, had us try cocaine. Charlie, Charlie, 
And he's the guy I had a competition with who could jizz on their face the f- fastest. Michael won. Come here. Uh, Is there any Julian Woods? Is there any Julian oh, yeah, Woods? You always forget about a little Julian, don't we, hey? <laughs> Mm, all right. Diary entry number 98 from Julian Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove. We got a new gang member today. I had to see if he was <laughs> hectic enough to join, so I made him drink a whole schooner of beer in one go at the Ashgrove Tavern. He downed the whole thing. It was so sick. Now there's three people in our gang, and we can try and expand our territory beyond the Ashgrove Tavern car park. Oh, and I won $50 on uh, what's called um, the pokies, and I fucked a chick. Are <laughs> you? That sounds like Julian. That's our, that's our Julian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's our Julian for sure. Oh. No, it's great to see. Oh, we got a pretty massively awesome episode, by the way. We got fucking P.O. Box. We're a successful oh. hunt. Another successful hunt. We did, we did it. it. We got questions. We got fucking German segment. Heaps of shit. Now, ugh, we're loving the growth of this fucking po- the podcast. It's very motivating. We're seeing all these comments, all these likes. So if you can't support us financially, the the, the only way that you... the, the <laughs> Calm, my OT. I just want you guys to like the video. And if you can't think of a comment, just comment the best. It's so good seeing all the numbers going up every week. Every week, it's like the next last podcast is the best one now. And it's it's just crazy to see. So just keep fucking liking, commenting. And I know that 30% of you aren't subscribed. And that's okay. Look, I'm just saying to those of you this week listening right now who are able to, if you can subscribe really easily, if you're just on your phone, you red buttons within sight, just click it. Just give it a little click and click the thumbs up. <laughs> give it a little tappy little tappy. Tap, tap. That's it. That's all we want. That's it. I love the podcast though. Fuck. We got a pretty good fucking reply from um, whether we should do a live podcast for our season finale last week. Mm. We, what, we, what, we got like 10 comments? Uh, probably more now. I think I've seen a few. All right, just remember, guys, we're, we're seriously considering this. So if you live in Brisbane, just comment, yes, I live in Brisbane and I would attend the live podcast. So we can know numbers. Yeah, I, don't, I think there's at numbers. least two or three people said they'd fly from Sydney to get here. To Cause, to yeah, because like we don't want to go to all this extra work, all this trouble, hire a venue and shit, and then fucking seven people rock up. That would be so embarrassing, but it would, at least it would make our slow clap sound cool. <laughs> yeah, all slow clap together. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, yeah, basically, the cabinet, cabinet leaders, leaders had a bit of hearsay, hearsay behind closed doors. what was going doors. behind closed doors. Question time, question time, I'm feeling fine. Catch. <laughs> well, you're good at the wheeze laugh. <laughs> Let's do our best one, Matt. You do a, your best one. <laughs> oh, hang on, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Jesus. <laughs> you gotta watch out for that cough. It hits the back of your throat. Does it hurt too much? <laughs> oh, he's just cute. When he, I've never seen him do that. All right. <laughs> the king of wheeze. <laughs> oh, the Wii's champion steps up to the podium. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Now all together. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Oh, <coughs> Before we get into the questions, did yes. you say you have something for Matt? Oh, we have a fucking present for you, mate. For me? Oh, oh shit. No, I'm not going to like it, am I? What, it's your what, lucky day. Oh, yeah. If you can guess it, you got three guesses. If you can guess it, then we'll tell you what it is. If not, you have to go and get it. I have yeah. no idea what it could be. First guess is? Um, no, it's not an arm. <laughs> oh, she liked that. <laughs> Guess again. Uh, no, it's not up. 
<laughs> Wait, harmonica! Harmonica! <laughs> it felt so weird I could see the asshole, And I had to fucking put this over it And it Why felt the air on me Why didn't it make a noise? I don't know Fuck you it put it in the wrong way? Look You gotta be close to it I'm gonna press it up next time You gotta press it up next time Oh Yeah I'll have to find a sustainable You gotta get it in there. So it does need a fair bit of pressure behind it. <laughs> you gotta play around with it a bit. So I gotta move try it. and find it. I was it. pretty much pressed up on your asshole nah. then. Did you feel that? No, I didn't feel that, eh? Because you would have probably gone off at me. All right. Well, last bloody guess, man. I don't wanna say anything because you're gonna say that's a guess. <sighs> <sighs> Is it? A is it a free trial to the website? No. All oh. right, you have to go to the freezer and collect it and bring oh, it out. Oh no! You get a present from me. me. From you? Well, us really. We fucking got it from us. You got we a got present from us. Yeah. Shop. It's a present from us. It occurred in the shops. Like uh, it started in the shops. Like, hey. Top left corner. For a video we're filming In the little bag. It's like a little duffel right bag. Now. Top Matt three, freeze our dickhead! Matt can't hear me right now, but there's a frozen shit. It's left. On the left, Let's just grab the bag. Reaction. Let's see his reaction. What the fuck is that? Just get it. Bring it here. <coughs> it's in a bag. Come on. Just bring it over before you have a look bag. at it. Just bring it over before you have a look it's at fucking it. Fucking chocolate mousse. It's not chocolate mousse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's, I had chocolate mousse last night. It's a matter of perspective. I shut it out. It's still chocolate mousse. Bring it in. I want to see it. I want to see if it's frozen yet. Can you bring it here? Fuck it. There's shit on every single... Every... Oh, shit. Bring it here. Bring it here. Oh, it. Okay. You guys are fucked. Oh, my God. What the fuck, man? Oh, it's still squishy. Squeeze it a bit. All right. That's, that's good now. Thank you. It doesn't smell when it's yeah, cold. Yeah, the, the cold kills the smell. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> like turkey slapped with a bag of shit. <laughs> wait! Oh, no! Wait, wait, wait! 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 Speed it up, right? Oh. Nah, it's not gonna work. Yes, it is. Need it yes, it is. <laughs> Man, it's so hard to play music from your ass. Fuck. Oh, that's why you fart. It smells like shit, not my shit. More air. Um, yeah, I think you need more air because it's popping. Yeah, I reckon. So don't do the the squeeze like when you hold it and it just comes out slowly. Just let it, let all, it out. all out. It's gonna smell like shit, but let it out. You're right. Okay. I'm a bit flustered. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, I guess that leads us to our next segment. I guess that leads us to some questions that you guys have asked. Now, remember with the questions, if you want your question asked, comment it on the YouTube channel, on our YouTube channel, Marty Michael Fully Actual, on this video. And whichever questions get the most likes by everyone, they're the ones we ask. And if we don't answer it, just keep asking every week. We will get there eventually. We just can't spend the whole hour answering questions. Do you know what I mean? So if you miss out, just keep commenting, Michael. <laughs> our podcast has gone from a half hour length to an hour. Yeah, and now we struggle to get it all in an hour. We might have to change it to three hours. Oh, dude. Michael's got a G-spot happening, Matt. But I'm not using my fingers. I'm just going to use the chair. Michael is scratching his asshole by uh, oh. roughly sliding side to side on his chair. And the friction of uh, the ass cheeks on the chair is uh, scratching his, uh, what he likes to call his G-spot. <laughs> So, but if he touches his G spot or uses fingers, um, it can quickly turn to pain. So he's reluctant to do that at the moment, and he prefers to scratch his ass by quickly sliding sli side to side on the chair. 
Oh. Yeah, that good? It's tiring. Yeah, no, it it's looks hard. It's a different hard. way to do it. It's like sex. It's worth it though. <sighs> Matt Brown. Oh, um, fuck. Oh, man. I have a question. Oh. It's from me. Why have you got a bag of shit in the freezer? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, tomorrow we're filming the website content. We can get a bit scat porny, and we're gonna do the throwing. What's the oh, extreme throwing? Extreme throwing. So you throw, you take a step extreme back. Extreme catch. Extreme catch. So you throw, throw you take catch a step it, back. take a step back until you drop it, and whoever drops it gets the object thrown at them. And we're gonna do a frozen poo. Oh, for fuck's sake, my poo. You can shit in a bag. I'll throw. I'll play catch with your poo if you want. All right. Just shit bag when you get <laughs> home. <laughs> Esther and mom there just shit in a bag and put no, it in the freezer. I'll get Esther to hold the bag open for me. <laughs> All right, question. First, First question, question is, is from, from Justin, Justin Bradford. Bradford. <laughs> um, what does Marty say um, at the start of every German segment translated to English? Yeah, what does actively Ach say? Ach du lieber. Ach du lieber. Ach du lieber. It's like, oh, my love. It's like, oh my, it's like, you know, like a, like a similar expression. It's like, oh my God, oh my God. Like that. Like, like it doesn't translate literally to oh my God, but it's similar meaning. Uh, mm. Like that. It's like, a, yeah, like an expression, I guess. Ach du lieber. <laughs> oh my God. So, ach du lieber. Was machst du hier? Ist das? Reden wir hier jetzt Deutsch oder was? <laughs> Fuck. Mm, yeah. Next question is from Son Goku. Um, did your parents know you were the best when you were kids or did they think you were weirdos with brain diseases? I reckon they thought I was better. Now they think I'm probably brain not the disease. best. Cause <coughs> I, yeah. yeah. I, no, they would have, you were fucked always. Yeah, I think my I parents would have been like, fuck, what's happened here? I've said that like fucking. Won- that's like my claim to fame. It's just like every podcast. I was school captain, so I'm fine. <coughs> but I, yeah, Marty was like. I always overheard my mum saying to dad, um, "Why won't it turn off?" Talking about me. <laughs> wow, you were considered it. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I just whenever I picture Marty as a kid, I picture him and the deaf boy. And when that, like, once I think of that, I just go, all right, he was proper fucked. There's a, there's a story in our earlier podcasts um, about something that I did. It's fucking unbelievable. Like, it's, 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 it's quite mean. Yeah, quite evil. But, yeah, I guess go find it. Do you want me to tell them? Um, I can't even remember how much detail we gave. But, yeah, basically. He used to come over on an ounce and I'd. I'd be like, oh, do you want an apple juice? And I'd get a glass of water and put an apple in it and then hand it to him. And he, like, we're completely straight faced. And he'd just be like, and be real polite and not even say anything and just pretend, <laughs> could go along with it and pretend that it was juice. And then I did some other things. <laughs> Got him into trouble a lot. He drew dicks all over his book. And I was convinced him that the teacher would think it was hilarious. So we went and showed the teacher with a big <laughs> smile on his face, got sent straight to the principal's office. <laughs> he, he, he did have a bike once, but... Uh, yeah, well, the- that wasn't just me. I'm not taking full blame for that. He did lose a bike. Yeah, he should have picked it up. Yeah. Not just left it on the rail- anyway. railroad train. Just, uh, yeah. Next question is from uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's fans. Apparently, his fans are fans of... Yeah, that podcasts. makes sense. Um... I want to ask Michael. Um, it's in broken English, so I'll try and make it. I'll, I'll, That'd be good. I'll make it better. Um, I want to ask Michael, why don't you have any pets? Do you not like living things? Uh, it's responsibilities. Like it's fucking, I, I love Bosley. I love holding him. But I, I, but you I don't want to back. fucking make sure that he's alive every day. Like I, when I'm with him, I will, but it's just too hard. All right. Like I'll get a fish, it'll yeah, die. I would plants are too hard. Even like as much, as happy as I am now to have Bozzy, yeah, it's not having a dog through your twenties is like fucking. It's inconvenient at times. Can't just can't be can't spontaneous travel. anymore. You know, you need to always think ahead. But obviously, I would never, I would never change. Like I can see if you get a dog like Boz, you would definitely take Boz over not having a dog because he's like the fucking best dog ever. 
He's not really a dog. Yeah. I wish he was more cuddly. That's the only thing that annoys me. No, but if he was cuddly... Yeah, you get over it. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. He's, it's the perfect... He leaves you wanting... Yeah. 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 Walks away. Mm. Makes you Plays hard it. to yeah. get. And then oh. when you do get it, it's like... Oh, it's like Christmas morning kind. <laughs> yeah. It is good. But yeah, mm. I, I don't have any pets. I, I think I had sea monkeys last year and that's about it. I reckon it. some rats. Nah, that's Connor. Connor loves his rats. I, Connor, I wonder if how many rats he's got now. I know, I know. I used to have rats. I don't know, if she, <coughs> I don't know if she still does, but they were pretty cool. They were like home rats. Mm. They were awesome. They were fun. Yeah, they like they sit on your yeah, shoulders. Yeah, they just crawl over you. A lot of people found it really weird, but I, I thought they were cool. Yeah, and then you got to train them as well. It's just, it's not on. Fuck that. Fuck having a dog or an animal. All right, next question is from Jose Martinez. Um, Marty, Michael, will you ever be able to find Matt's first ever diary entry? I'd say so. It'd be in there somewhere. I haven't even, I don't even know if they're in chronological order. I just sort of pick them out as I find them from his diary and read them out. Um, but yeah, his first diary entry, that would be, I, I might try and find that and just have a read. Can't. Next question is from Jacob Dickerson. Um, what situation in life makes you re- really uncomfortable? Is there anything in situations in life that make you uncomfortable? Yeah, I can oh, think. I know, I can, Marty. No, wait. I can think of one thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Push it in. Push it in. I'm, push, I'm pushing it in. I'm pushing it in. You can't. Oh, God. It's, oh, it's, I'm blacking out. Need more air. I don't like out. it because my fingers are so close to his asshole. Just get it out. in I there. Like, I miss the recorder. I miss the recorder. Well, you need a little pokey stick to go with it. Oh, fuck. It's, I'm so close to it. This is what it feels like to get sexually assaulted. You just fucking raped me. <laughs> I can press charges. <laughs> did you, so you didn't like that one? Did it, did, was that too close? <laughs> All right. Moving on. Forget. By the way... Um, these vapes we've got our weed website open and these are about 375 so they're a little bit expensive we will be adding more products to that that aren't so fucking expensive we just have to start off with just a few products because the stuff that we're selling it's a bit like fucking high risk and uh, we just have to be careful that the website doesn't get shut down and that happens that happens nowadays yeah so what situation in life makes you really uncomfortable i know marty's is running into like parents that have oh kids my god because i was there seeing people from my old alternative life that i lived back when i was a tennis coach because you have to pretend to be fucking hell you have to pretend to be like another person you have to pretend to be this really happy excited fucking tennis loving fucking freak and of course i couldn't be myself and just uh, <laughs> fits whenever I wanted to because people don't want to leave the guy <laughs> doing that alone with their children so I had to be a completely different person then all of a sudden one day when we started making videos I was like like some people that I was coaching and I used to coach like in New Farm these are quite we- <laughs> wealthy people they're, they're like you know they're, they're business types they're fucking executives they're lawyers all this shit they started seeing the videos and they're like what like this was just back with the social experiments yeah, and even that days. was like oh yeah what are you doing <coughs> there and it just got so fucking awkward and cringe <coughs> that I just left ghosted everyone and got the fuck <laughs> out of there and have never have not maintained contact with anyone from that world he has this one guy that has seen him out about it. Oh, let's not talk about it in case. Yeah, yeah, in case, in case yeah. you ever got back to him. Yeah, I'm sorry if anyone from that. I'm sorry about that, but I had to get out of there, and I will not talk to any of you guys ever again. <laughs> That's it. That world's gone. Yeah, but it's nice now. I can just be myself whenever I want around any new person, anyone we work with. It's fucking a relief. It's not, it's so shit having to go from. Put a smile on your face and fucking get in there and look after fucking kids and pretend like you love it. It's fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah, uh, like obviously there were clients that I did love. Yeah, of course. The people you love. There were some rad kids and rad parents. Yeah. But then the majority is just acting like you are so... You're like the kid, the fucking worker on play school. Uh, yeah. It's like enthusiastic, really over the top happiness. 
It's just, it kills and your soul. And it's, and it's not anyone that I knew there that's a, that was a bad person or anything. It's just I had pretended to be someone that I wasn't. So it's not you. It's definitely me, but I just don't want to deal with that. So I just have fucking removed. I don't want to say to you, yeah, And now, yeah. like, we'll Me- be at restaurants now and then. And you're like, nah, we're going right now, right now. Yeah. Leave, Michael, Michael, go. And it's like, seriously, like some rich family that he used to coach. And like, uh, now I do this. Oh, why do I keep doing my belt up? Oh, dude, it's so rough looking at it. <laughs> Oh, that's why I don't talk to them anymore. <laughs> that's why. That's why you want out when we see him in restaurants. Do you want any more of that? No, nah, no, nah, man, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> um, fucking hell. I'd say what makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Ju- Michael gets really uncomfortable when. When when uh, Julian is um, accidentally rude to 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 waiters and waitresses, yeah, it's just like one of those. You know how you taught as a kid, your parents sort of teach you certain things, and then like when you see other people that don't do that, it like makes you sort of cringe. Julian is the king of that shit. Like his parents fucked up hard with teaching him basic. He's actually got nice manners. Yeah, we well, can when he yeah. wants to. Yeah, he's good. We've improved when, him. As soon as something shits him a little bit, he flips it, and it's like, nah, fuck this place. Fuck, why isn't why isn't there like two more pepper cones on my pepper? <laughs> like, it's the smaller shit that shits him, and then like but it's with Michael. It is it is easy to embarrass Michael in public. All I have to do is just pretend to be some fucking gross over the top bogan <laughs> and be really uh, like obnoxiously loud and michael just fucking gets out no, of there as quick as he can what fucking ruins me sometimes <laughs> is when i'm the only one facing people <laughs> and he's facing me looking at me looking at a wall and i've got everyone looking at me and he literally lifts his ass up like he'll be like <laughs> And then whatever, you know, those fucking sounds that come out, you hear it just echo through the restaurant. And then he just like puts his head down and I'm just left with everyone looking at me. And then like, obviously, because I fucking do love farts in the right area, because the sound's so funny. I'm just giggling and it looks like I've fucking done it. And it's so awkward, dude. Like, and so I always think about that when I sit down at tables. I always try and position myself in a way where I, where I can do it as I please and not have any repercussions. You did, yeah, you did a great at Mexican the other night. We had, a, we had a table behind us that looked like just one big table of social justice warriors. And they just looked like they'd hate any type of us that was near them. And Marty just said, watch this and just farted straight away. And I just had to look look in the other direction did they fucking turn <laughs> they they sort of put their their heads up and were like and all looked at each other and then just didn't say yeah, a lot of the time yeah it's just silence and like some people are like angry but no one's said anything yet see, but see i, I get I the guts to, to, to do it, it when i'm in the cinema <laughs> yeah. because it's dark <laughs> and like so like i remember there was this one time <laughs> oh my god so much gas and i was lifting up making sure i got the angle right to prolong the fart for and it was like a quiet movie it was like a lot of, a lot of silent parts and like michael would always place. michael would always pick the best spot and, and like everyone in the cinema heard it like these are so fucking loud <laughs> but most, most of the time people just laugh yeah and then one girl like <laughs> after the third or fourth fart turns around and she's like can you please stop? <laughs> that's she's, what happened to she's me. She's right there, like there. Like, <laughs> that's, like, what, that's what happened to me and James in a movie. And it's like some drama, like r- romantic movie. And like throughout the whole movie, both of us just taking turns fighting as loud as we could until this woman had to come over and back. Can you please stop that? You're ruining the movie. Oh, see. And then we left. We had to leave because really? we just couldn't control our guts. Oh, it's because like of laughter or just farting? Farting and laughing. <laughs> because you're like, oh, you should have stayed. Would have you done it again if it came up? I don't know. Would it, she, she definitely would have gone and called oh, someone. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not illegal to fart, right? Of course. No, it, no. Yet. I bet you one day it fucking will be. You could be disturbing people. I no, guess. what if you identify as a fart? Yeah, true. Mm. Then you're fine. Mm. Um... All right, well... Ooh, that was a good fuck. question. Yeah, that, that was a long ringworm, man. <laughs> um, ah! Ah! 
What's the next one? <laughs> next question is from Chicken Potato. Very easy one. Michael, do you ever wash your hair? No, I haven't washed it for ages. Do you, uh, to I be no, maybe once every two weeks. To be fair, like I very rarely use any soap or anything. Like I, I it's fine. I just go. Sure. I just go into the. I have a freezing cold shower every night. No hot. I haven't had a hot shower for a year and a half. And like, if I'm really dirty, I'll get some fucking soap and and go for it. But other than that, I just I just rinse and it's fine. Sorry, dude. Um, the uncomfortable question was actually the most so, requested question as well. Mm, well, now you know, say. everyone. You um, know. Only beat out by two this question. Sorry, this is from Addison Leet, by the way. Um, were Matt's parents like him or was it learnt behaviour from the environment he grew up in? Uh, well, I don't know your parents that well, so I imagine that mm. something is wrong in your fucking brain, cunt, to make you fucking function like that. My parents are beautiful, so it has to be me. Maybe they're too beautiful and you wanted a piece of them and that's what got your wires crossed. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I have been a therapist before. I <laughs> <laughs> um, also got one of the weirdest questions I've ever gotten before, but anyway. We'll yes. A question for the podcast this is from Air Force One. Uh, the Air Force One? The Air Force One. Holy the aeroplane Holy itself. Fuck, this will be good. Here Holy go. shit. I'm ready. If you guys were given the chance, let's say someone offered you fresh, dead human meat, would you guys eat the human meat? Fresh and raw. Yes, for a laugh. No, for... Yes, if I could, if I was allowed to. I don't he know. Added I some wouldn't parameters enjoy it, there. but I'd do it. He added some parameters. He said, I'm not saying you, you have to kill someone or eat them. Yeah, I read this. I do remember. Let's say it. legally, someone offered you guys fresh, dead human meat legally. Don't know how you do yeah, that. Yeah, for but legally, then yeah, probably. Like a human leg. Would you guys eat it? So, would, can he guarantee that we won't get sick? No. But he, oh, well, no. Let's just say, it, let's just say you, you don't get sick. Okay, and let's say fine. you don't get questioned by the police. Yeah, you don't. If it's you don't legal. Sick, if you don't get sick, I'd, I'd, hey, I'd look great I'd content. Great I'd, fucking content. Yeah, <laughs> think about that. I'd have a little nibble. One hundred percent, I'd eat it. Oh, what if some? What if one of our friends lost a leg and donated it to you to eat? Depends. Yeah, on yeah lost. Well, what, what if there was yeah. gangrene all through it? Yeah, then yeah. you got a bit of worry. But no, I'd definitely do it. I wouldn't enjoy it at all. I think you would. Meat in general is difficult, apart from chicken. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. Um, Michael loves cheeks. Humans? I don't know. What part would you eat if you had to eat? You'd eat the toes. No, thigh. Yeah. Inner thigh. No, and you'd have, have to be, toes. I'd prefer a female to eat a female than a male. Smooth I reckon a male's thigh would be tough. Tougher for some reason. And yeah, I just want... I like a semi-fit. So there's still a bit, a bit of like fat on there it's not like a proper muscly female fat leg. is really hard to eat so raw. semi-fit oh really yeah, if you want you want lean oh, so you well. want muscle then yeah. maybe i'd go a male fat. <coughs> if you're eating it raw i would want lean as fuck because the fat is you can't chew through it it's so fat you know what you know you yeah know, I, don't fat in your mouth. I don't really eat meat so i don't let's ask jeffrey dharma who's that google it um all right last question is from juicy the juicy fruit can you guys try to find if there is a sauerkraut juice available in Australia and drink and drink at least half a litre each? This will flush you out so bad. It's like a laxative or actually more like a laxa bomb. Well, why can't we just buy sauerkraut and then just juice it until we Could have do that. half a litre of it? Marty, have you yeah, had it, it in juice it. form? Yeah. I've, I've never had it in juice form. It's very strange, but I'll do it. Can you remind me of this? And I, Yeah, if like... I'll do it. If By the way, there. that letter we got sent last week, do you want to read out what you, oh. Michael decoded it? So someone sent in a letter with lots of symbols and letters. And I've calmed down. I've calmed down. But now. Michael, yeah, Michael was pretty upset. It was, it was taking a long time. Did you, and you didn't, couldn't be fucked finishing it? Yeah, I, I got, like, I got th two thirds of the way there. Okay. This is what the letter says, everyone, for those wondering from last so week. So here's the fucking coding system, right? It's bunch of good. symbols symbols i got to decode it into words and fuck it i spent about 25 minutes on it and that's too long yeah. okay i've got you've got just, you got washing i got fucking up. shits in the freezer all right now dear marty and michael my challenge for you guys is to make another spin the bottle and sprint with shami jaden and Lockie and michael fallon it must have thirty thousand or more lives to get gift in the next second letter, if need to my eye. 
and then i got pissed off I it's stopped. not really making sense well yeah look there was a spelling error there was two f's like what's lifts lifes doesn't yeah, make sense i'm not sure yeah and maybe I-, I coded it wrong <laughs> Yeah, it could very well be what's happened here that Michael's made some mistakes. Because I was just like... <laughs> and just assumed I, I was hurrying. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. We will... It'd be fun to do that again. But we can't really top the one that we did. What I one? hit you in the oh, head right, with yeah. a wine bottle. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, bro. So... We could definitely step that up. We could get a javelin in there. Oh. <laughs> I, well, I would love... It's a fun game. Would you play it? What is it? Spin the bottle roulette. So spin you've got, the bottle and sprint. Yeah, spin the bottle. Oh, yeah. So, we all run and get and the fuck like out of And there's like items, yeah, like yeah. a golf yeah, yeah, ball, I'll play. Yeah. tennis I'll ball. Yeah. Not uh, oh, Is James going to play? Oh, that's scary. Yeah, well... Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll yeah. do it. I'll There's do so it. many fucking videos we got to do. Sorry, I just... You live. I couldn't do this, You'll okay? Live. I'll do it. Um, Matt, you, I think you said you'd do it last week. I'll do it. Okay. Matt will do it. Uh, thank you for all your questions, guys. Remember, keep them coming. We ask the questions that get the most likes. So, fucking just keep going and have a scroll and like the questions. We literally read every comment. Everything Matt just said, we already had read. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Correct. Is that is that it for questions, Colin? There's more, but we're out of time for questions, but they'll get answered next week. There you go, Colin. All right. <laughs> this is exciting okay so yeah. we left you guys with uh with some Chappelle Corby ba- bunter a bit of bunter with Chappelle Corby and she fucking replied we had a bit of fun and then we're like fuck it let's get Husey cunt let's get Husey cunt cunt and then and then what we David Hasselhoff we did message him last week on the podcast he never replied yeah, we weren't he's still sour to, at yeah. Marty uh, he's, did look, he see it no he hasn't seen yeah. it yeah Oh, didn't he open it? No, he didn't okay. open it. Um, but yeah, anyway, we thought we'd, we'd message Dave Hughes and just fucking just see what happens. See if we can get a little video off of him. Anyway, long story short, we randomly start uh, demanding that he adopts us um, and ask him to send us. Uh, he, he says yes. He says, um, only if you sign a prenup, you need to love me and not my money. We said, completely understand. Um, I've told our lawyer to draw up some contracts. And then he said, okay, but I get power of attorney. And we said, stern but fair. Anyway, and then we get into asking him for a video confirming it for legal reasons. And wouldn't you fucking know it? I am going to be Michael and Marty's father. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be Sounds like there's a gun to Michael and Marty's father. <laughs> father. Oh, very good oh. so fucking Dave Hughes has promised to adopt us so fucking fucking go another up another successful hunt Andy from Hamish and Andy is not a hologram Hamish is definitely we don't know yet skeptical we've proven that Mercedes that Chappelle Corby's sister Mercedes is a human yep we've not proven that Shane Warne can still spin and we've proven that Dave Hughes does want more children and he wants us <laughs> We're going to say <laughs> shit in the freezer. Matt? What are you going to do what about that, st- Father Hughes? Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to wait until it's hard. I'll get it for you. And then we'll have a play. I'll oh, get it for you. Come oh. on now. Enough of the schmutz. Is that what shit is? No, scheiser. Schmutz. What's schmutz? It's like dirt. Oh, schmutz. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Should we do it? Yeah, it's time. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. And this is a very friendly, happy German segment for children, where we read out German phrases <laughs> as if I'm speaking to a fellow German. Very common phrases. <laughs> German, yeah. Yeah. Ja. German, ja. 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 German, ja. Wasser, ja. Wasser. Hast du Tomaten auf den Augen? <lacht> Hast du Tomaten auf den Augen? <lacht> Guck mal, ich kann nicht sehen. Hast du Tomaten auf den Augen? Oder was? <lacht> Which means, do you have tomatoes on the eyes? Which means, like, use your eyes, like, open your eyes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You can just sort of move, put it into a stream. Hast du Tomaten auf den Augen? I want to try it. Okay, this is a very friendly one. Alles im grünen Bereich. Oh. Alles im grünen Bereich. Bereich. Alles im grünen Bereich. Oh. Bereich. Oh. Bereich. Oh. Wow. Wow. Alles im grünen Bereich. Oh. Such a strange Which means word. everything in green area. Everything in green area. Which means everything's okay. <laughs> so Every if you came in, came home. So it's like everything's in the clear for yeah, us. You've gone and had a checkup at the doctor. Everyone's really nervous because they found all these suspicious alarms and they do the test. You get the news. You come out and you'd say, Alles im grünen Bereich! To your family. Oh, what a okay. beautiful language. One more. Black. Hey! Du hast nicht alle Tassen im Schrank! Du hast nicht alle Tassen im Schrank! 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 Tassen im Schrank! Schrank! Tassen im Schrank! Du hast nicht alle Tassen im Schrank! Du hast nicht alle Tassen im Schrank! Du hast nicht alle Tassen im Schrank! Oh. <clears throat> which means you don't have all the cups in the cupboard, which means you don't, you, you've lost your mind. You're a bit crazy if you don't have all your uh, tussum in a shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> Next segment. Oh, P.O. We, yes. Unbox. <laughs> In, in. Where we open shit that you guys send to us. We got some fun packages this week. They look yeah, big and big fun. Big ones, I like them. So if you want to send Impressive. us anything, if you want us to fucking, I don't know, promote something, you've got a product, just send it here. We open everything live on the podcast. We've could never opened this bomb? before. Could send a bomb. Could be anthrax, could be a bottle of piss, frozen piss we've never had before. We've never had vomit. We've never had breast milk. There you go. Oh, Two yeah, little secrets. Oh. And we, we, we apparently have had a, a used tampon. Yes. Yeah, we had a used tampon. Oh, do we it. actually really? Yep. Yeah, it smells like shit. Yeah, we both sniffed that it. That is fucking fucked up, man. Mm. Like, we don't it wasn't as bad as the shit was definitely filled the room yeah yeah like the smell was fine she had like i think the tampon was scented you know the, you know i looked at the podcast and leaks the other day 96 or i think it's like 98 percent of people who listen are blokes what that's yeah, crazy imagine how legendary those fucking two percent the chicks would be though that's one of the girls i'm gonna marry dude it's probably nikki and sabrina Two of the biggest fans. There is like chicks. so literally ninety six percent. It's crazy on our insta on our normal vids. It's what fifty no seventy five twenty five. Yeah, yeah for the Shit. podcast because so look, <laughs> look at what we look at look at what we do here. Yeah, All right, here we go. I'm fucking. I've opened this big package. There's a white box inside. Look at this. What a fucking cool thing to send. So someone has sent us a megaphone. You know the thing where you're talking to and it makes things louder. Is that what you call it? A megaphone? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very cool idea. Actually. But, but buy the biggest and best if you're going to send it to us. No, 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 no. Now, the this little is ones are usually easy brutal. For pranks. Ah, Keep it in. Thank, thank you. Thank you. This is good. Thank you. I should, I, should, fucking, I should say cut that, Connor, but I want my honesty to stay yeah, in. We want you guys to see that we make mistakes. Do you want me to get some batteries? Now, this. Ooh. This looks good. We're a little black box. From where? Meh. Methuselah. 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 M-E-T-H-U-S-E-L-A-H. Dear Marty and Michael, here is my product. Handmade, hand-stitched with Italian and American leather. All right, fuck yeah. Now. Handmade. All right, so they've got an Instagram. Methuselah leather, okay? Find them on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, here. Twitter, and Etsy. Thank you so much. And look at this. These I leather wallets. Wallet. These are fucking handy. So do I. I actually do need a new wallet. So there's two wallets here. I'll have both of them. 
This is so good because wallets are always so chunky. And then we got brown one and a blue one. Oh, is that the siren? So we can we can prank people with that siren. Oh, he sent us these leather key rings as well. This is I'm going to use this for Bosley's walk chain Shit. leash. Is that what you call it? And he sent us these fucking little bloody uh, what do you call them? Coasters. coasters, coasters, leather coasters. So thank you very much, Musolaya Leather. Go and fucking check them out. Hands made. That thank never you so much. that never happens these days, Matt. Matt would like some too, guys. <laughs> we'll give him a, one of these. Yeah, there you go. Matt, have a fucking wallet. I want that one. All right, fuck. All right, fuck. I love oh, gifts, hey. Mate. That's very, very good. good. Gifts are fun. On to very the good. next, next segment. segment. Fuck, what have we got left, cunt? Just the fucking prank, prank call. call that's it. Fuck me, cunt. All right, something fucking special for the fucking prank call, you fucking dumb cunt. What I'm going to do, right? I'm going to order an Uber. Then as soon as he says he's confirmed that he's coming, I'm going to call him. Then I'm going to be Arnold Fine and tell him, ask him if he's all right, sweet, to pick up a pig. Oh, hello, the Uber driver. Yep. Oh, hello. Uh, my name Arnold. Are you driving to uh, my house? A uh, quick question. Um, I have uh, three large pig. Large, you know, a pig, Anim animal pig. I have a three. I have a three large pig at my house. I uh, ask you, you please. I put one one pig in your back uh, back car, back seat of car, and then you take a pig to a tramp site, drop off a tramp site butcher. Okay. You can take uh, one pig, you understand what I mean? One pig. Yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one animal, okay? So you take one pig. Uh, it's a little bit dirty. Uh, a bit of um, uh, pig a poo on the leg, a little bit uh, blood on the tummy. But I put a blanket down for you, huh? Okay. Yeah, so the pig. Large or a small one? <laughs> Uh, it's um, probably uh, 100, 110 kilo, so uh, pretty big, but... Uh, no, it's too big, it's 100 kilo, it's too big, uh, my car, like... Uh, uh, what if, not a big one. What if uh, the boot, you have uh, room in the boot, I, uh, I tied a pick, I, I put a rope around its little leg, and it doesn't barely move, huh? I wrap a rope around its little leg and we'll shove it in the back there, and you take the pig and thrust it out of the butcher. Uh, actually, I'm coming after two minutes. Uh, I see. Otherwise, I pick no problem. Okay. Well, how about how about I show you a peak? I show you the peak, and uh, we see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you show me. Okay. You arrive now, huh? Yeah, I'm coming just only one minute. Okay. I see you very shortly. See you or go with peak. Yeah, huh? yeah. I love you, darling. Okay. I love you, okay. darling. I'm gonna run out and show him Bosley. We need to film We're this. We're gonna film this. Fucking, can you? Uh, I'll film. Here we go. So what do you Cut. Oh my God! Oh, 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 Dog not pick up. Oh, okay, okay, well. Uh, oh, God, it's, it's a pig. It's a barking a pig. Oh, you, you really fuck my life up, eh? My wife is sick. Tell my wife. That worked out better than I thought it would. Holy shit, my man. Okay, so the Uber driver rocked up. Uh, we'll have the audio and video. The video is pretty hard to see because it's dark here, but we'll put it in to the podcast. Um, and on Spotify, yeah, so basically what happened was we went out there and I tried handing him Bosley, saying it was the pig, and he said, no, no, we can't take that. And it's pretty <laughs> awkward. And then I gave him $20 and said, thanks. What would I, sorry for wasting time. And off he went. Fuck. Good people.
It's the prank call. Very interactive prank call uh, this yeah, week. Yeah, that was different, May I just dude. say so? You thought of that yesterday. Very good idea. Poor old Bozzy. Struggling to get out of my arms. <laughs> <laughs> we Pink. are the best, best. we the best, we the, the motherfucking we're best. We're the 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 best. <laughs> <laughs>